Chat Meter, where we got your gaming and esports hot topics, hot tweets, and the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm AJ Fry. Producer Lisa's got two minutes on the board and topics at the bottom of your screen for mm -hmm. us to debate and argue over and get heated and hate one another and storm out of the studio over. No. That's, that's where it's going today, Marissa. We're going to love each other forever and ever and always, AJ. Uh, of course, we do have a mute button yeah, that comes thing. into play. If we need to press it, AJ and I may or may not mute each other. Lisa's in her ear now, so she may just force us to mute. You never know with this one. She's a dictator. We love it when chat calls us out when we're wrong. <laughs> Don't be shy. We can take it. Let's get to our first story here. We're going to break apart today's biggest story, starting with the game development by popular demand at Riot Games. Hmm. Every so often, Riot releases a champion rework for League of Legends that updates and changes one of their game's older champions. For example, Kale recently got a rework that dramatically changed her playstyle. And while Riot has announced a few of the champions who will be getting reworks, it also created a poll to let fans vote on one of five champions who will get a makeover. Whichever champion wins will get a brand new update sometime in 2020. So, AJ, is letting fans vote on a major game development project the right move, do you think? Because it could prevent some of those popular champions from seeing the light of day. Yeah, that is a downside of this, I suppose. Yeah. But on the upside, one of the options is Volley Bear or Volley Bear. So uh, <laughs> from me, that's a big thumbs up. If everyone out there could uh, vote Volley Bear, getting the, the rework, make it more viable in the current meta. So when I finally get around to getting back into League of Legends, my, yeah, yeah. my main Volley Bear <laughs> will be much better yeah, off. Uh, you know, if this was a different game, if this was like Overwatch, where yeah. your character pool is only 30 characters, mm. I think you'd have a bit more of a serious problem if you're caving to the whims of the, the, the audience, of mm. the fans, the gamers themselves. But a game with as many characters as League of Legends, I think when you're just narrowing down to like five that definitely need rework, I think this is pretty safe territory and this is giving the crowd an opportunity to voice their concerns and to pick their, their favorite one who really needs an update. So right. I'm actually entirely on board with this idea mm. for this game in this circumstance, but not an across the board support. Marissa, go! Oh, oh not an across the board support. Well, I mean, I guess we have a typical voting system where it's just gonna be five characters that they're putting out there. We're not seeing all all the characters where yeah, players yeah, it's can't of like these be. five. Exactly. So I mean there is the option of, you know, just trolling and picking a character that definitely trolls like Timu uh, instead. Like if they could just throw characters in if players could just vote on yeah, whoever, yeah. then yeah. we might see an issue. I feel like this like Riot's just giving us, you know, a little taste. Like if you're gonna go into the States and vote for who you want to be president, this is how I feel like this is how it should be now. Just Twitter polls. Twitter votes, and this might actually work because it actually gives people a voice. They don't have to leave their homes. So maybe Riot is starting something here. Can we just go that from picking characters to change in League of Legends yeah, to right. how to redo the vote for president mm -hmm. of the United yeah. States of America? Yeah, that's how deep and how uh, far-reaching we go with the show, children. All right, children. well, Timo and Bully Bear in 2020. That's my vote. All right, Trump. over in Dota 2, the MDL Major is well underway, and over half the teams competing have been eliminated, which is uh, bad enough. But for one of those teams, uh, they're making some dramatic changes to remain competitive moving forward. South American team Chaos Esports has decided to abandon its home continent mm. and just uh, skip over to Europe okay. due to the difficult logistics in running a team over in Brazil. Uh, the team even dropped two of its Brazilian players in order to accommodate the move and uh, to say that uh, South American fans are unhappy uh, would be a bit of an understatement. So, Yo. Marissa, what do you think of a uh, team leaving their home region to remain competitive in the esports scene? Whoa. Uh, this is big. I, okay, here's the thing. If they were to just leave Canada, there wouldn't be such an uproar. We're not as passionate. I must say, we have to call it the Canadian fans right now. We're not as passionate as they are in Brazil. Brazilian we're just polite fans, with our passion. We are very polite with our passion. Yeah. Brazilian fans are honestly fanatical about everything anything yeah. and everything you can think of they are the number one fans of like i know an actress name is katie um she does a d bunch of different tv shows she's yeah. like it doesn't matter what i do what i post the first comment is always come to brazil we love you in brazil it's just everybody lets them know that brazil is where it's at it's where it's happening so the fact that chaos is leaving brazil and they dumped a couple of brazilian players ooh, like yeah. that's gonna sting that's gonna leave a mark and i don't think they could ever return to brazil uh you know lest yeah. they be but does this leave, Brazil is also dangerous. Does this leave opportunity then for like a Brazil like founded team to pick up the pieces and you know if there's such a, uh, a fervent uh, yeah. fan base there, mm -hmm. could they not come together and create their own team that becomes the dominant force in the in well, the league in that uh, in that region? Uh, I mean, maybe for a different genre of esports. I guess Dota Dota is not 
flying there like everything else is. Like CSGO just shines there. I mean, any yeah. other, I feel like a lot of other esports do very well there, but it's maybe the Dota scene that's, that's lacking and that's what they have right. to go over to Europe. That but could be a thing. Are they going to pick up any fans over in Europe now that they've repositioned themselves? Is this going to be a, an area that is like, oh, yay, we've got that Brazilian, not Brazilian team now. I, Let's cheer for them. Maybe. Like, it kind of, it just it's a weird looks, move. It, yeah, it looks bad when you leave a country to jump over to another one because it's going to be easy, easier for you as an organization. Yeah. But isn't that like what movie studios do? They come to Canada because it's cheaper to... Well, for production to, purposes, yeah, I exactly, suppose. But this production? is different. This is like your fan base. This is your, your yeah. base. This is your organization. Anyway. Ah, oh, rip. A friggin' dip. A few weeks ago, a scandal engulfed the Magic the Gathering community after legendary pro player Yuya Watabi, what Watabanabi? Watanabe. That's yeah. what it is. We watch Magic the Gathering tournaments. Was accused of marking his cards. The Magic Pro League began an investigation and found that he was guilty. The crazy part is his punishment. Watanabe is banned from all MTG events for 30 months. He's kicked out of the MPL and has been removed from the game's Hall of Fame. Both Watanabe and his team say that he is innocent and have accused the judges of framing him. AJ, hey. this is crazy scandal. This is like mm. full on tea sipping, but this is the first instance of this guy cheating, okay, in yeah. his career. So does well, he deserve the book to be thrown, thrown at him in this way? First of all, he just clearly was not cheating. It was clear that the judges are framing him uh, in order to get rare magic cards. It's all a conspiracy. This is top tier sarcasm. <laughs> Amazing, AJ. I mean, the guy obviously like thumbprinted his cards. He, he cheated, and like that is not cool, especially at this level. If you're playing magic with your cousins in a basement on <laughs> Easter, and one of your cousins <laughs> cheats, and you call him out on it, like the punishment should be, yeah, well, we just don't play with that cousin anymore. But this <laughs> is the guy at the top level. He was a Hall of Famer. He marked his cards. Yeah, strip him of everything. Kick him out. It's Whoa. not cool, man. Whoa. It's not cool to cheat at this level okay, or I any level. Or Ever. any level, definitely. But, but at this level, ooh. get him out of here. Okay. Forget this guy. Don't say his name anymore. Okay. Well, good, because it's difficult for me to say his name, so I, that's there, fine. Yeah. But I agree with you on that point. But listen, sometimes cheating makes the game a little more interesting. Poor Le Hemplo. The game... What? I'm sorry. Sometimes cheating makes the game more interesting. I don't even want to hear the end of that point for the beginning of it. The thesis is just inherently wrong. Cheating makes the game more interesting for no one involved. What's interesting is watching two people under the same conditions competing, giving it their best, not using any underhanded techniques. Exploits are a certain thing. Inventing gimmicks or, or finding certain like novel things within a game or within the system and exploiting those, I can give you certain grounds there. But cheating, full on cheating, Cheating? No. AJ Fry, I am unmuted. You didn't let me finish my point. And my Good point luck. was, listen, when there were steroids in baseball and that was flying, the juiced era was actually very exciting. It made baseball a little more fun to watch. Mm. You, you can't deny here, it. Kids. You cannot deny Try the steroids. That Marissa sometimes, Roberto, 2019. Sometimes unmuted. cheating is more entertaining for those watching. Do I think they should get the books thrown on them? I don't know. Maybe should give them a second chance. Should we clip this and send it to her husband? Yeah. Whatever, you can. I he would agree with me. <laughs> All right, it's me now. There are two things that are certain in life, death and taxes. And uh, they've made their way into Fallout 76. Of course, death was already there. But uh, thanks to a new update uh, that lets players create their own vending machine stores, uh, players are now going to uh, only keep 90% of their profits as there's a 10% tax on every sale that goes to Bethesda. The developer says that they put the tax in place in order to prevent the game's economy from stagnating. While some players agree with the reasoning, others are just as quick to point out that the tax doesn't prevent economic imbalance. In yeah. fact, it doesn't really do anything uh, yeah, because a, it just goes to Bethesda game. and it's an in-game <laughs> currency. So does this make any sense to you? I guess if we're like trying to emulate real life, I mean, it is, you know, an RPG. So right. uh, I suppose it makes sense to put a tax on it, but where that's going to Bethesda, like it would, it would kind of be funny if that was part of the game. Like, you know, uh, there's the role-playing version now of Grand Theft Auto. Right. That would be so interesting to actually, like, every year you gotta do your taxes, you gotta, like, play what you <laughs> make, and, or else uh, the IRS is gonna be after you. Yeah. Um, that would be 
interesting. If that was the case and they could implement this in Fallout and it's actually like that kind, like role playing game style, and we really, really did have to do taxes, the fact that it's just like a vending machine thing where like the little 10% gets skimmed off and goes to Bethesda, that's stupid. But especially because it's bottle caps that yeah. are the, the literal currency within yeah. this game. So it's you doing your taxes going like, okay, we go, we go. Five, six, okay, that aside for the big... But, like, I do kind of like your idea, though. Yeah. If there was some sort of character in-game who was the collector of yeah. the taxes yeah. that everyone was paying to, and then you could, I don't know, cooperatively go invade this guy and, like, steal back your taxes <laughs> yeah. eventually, like, if that was the mission. Plotting just, and scheming. The reality is it's a 10% tax where the caps just go into the ether. They, are, <laughs> they no longer exist. Yeah. It's just a bizarre idea just to make you feel the same pain of paying taxes. Taxes yeah, how you like feel when you do it in reality, I sure. guess. Sure, maybe they're trying to prevent capitalism. She's like, oh, uh, she went for the pun. Uh, <laughs> put it on the board. Uh, yeah, I mean, that could be it, possibly. It's still, I, I don't, don't know. So, but that's just maybe making... they're going to like provide some services in game, which yeah. is what taxes are for in the first place, right? Maybe, the yeah, feeding the roaming mutants and some who capacity. knows, man. It'll be interesting to see what like what else Bethesda pulls out, uh, when it comes to E3 time yeah. when they do their presser, like to see if there's any mm. more updates like this. If it's not like real life taxes, like in game. RPG style. Well, I don't, I don't I think I want. I want to see what their policy plans are for using this. <laughs> yes, this show new us your books. Revenue stream. All right, <laughs> it's time uh, to check in with streamers and clip it. Our first clip is from Kit. Kit Boga, Kit Boga, who is known for pulling pranks on uh, scammers posing as telemarketers. Mm -hmm. Lucky for us, he sometimes gets them to do crazy things <laughs> like this. Okay, I'm going to sing the song now. I hear her voice in the morning hours. She called me, the radio reminds me of my home. Far away and driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday, yesterday. Can she don't take me home ah, 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 to the place I belong? Ah, ah, ah. West Virginia Mountain Mama, take me home. Can she don't ah, ah, ah. take me home? Okay, ma'am, are you happy? Very. <laughs> oh my I'm very happy gravy. too. Uh, <laughs> how would you rank that rendition of Country Road? My goodness. I can't... Top tier, that's an S tier rendition right there. I kind of want to know like, what the lead up was to the, like, how did he get somebody to straight up just sing Country Road for that long too? Like it wasn't just a couple of lines, a couple of bars, like he just I mean, went through it and didn't even know the lyrics. When you're dealing with these scammers, is it that you start giving them your credit card number and then stop halfway through so that they feel like they're, they're about ready there, to get the yeah. juice, get the get what they came for? Yeah. Oh man, I, I gotta up my creative game when it comes to dealing with the scammers. Yeah, no kidding, because especially lately, like uh, again, bringing it back to tax season, like there yeah. will be more, you have to watch out, there will be more people uh, calling and yeah. pretending that they are CRA or IRS or whatever it is, try to yeah. scam you in some way or try to get you panicked to like give them information on the phone. Please don't do mm. it. Also like warn the elderly people in your life about it as well. Like yeah. you just really gotta take care. Just think think of your mothers and grandmothers. It is Mother's Day weekend, yep. everybody. Happy Mother's Day. That's Protect right. your mom. Ever wonder what happened an online multiplayer RPG called Anthem? Hmm. Well, Admiral Baru did, so he decided to see how it's doing on Twitch. Oh, there, there it is. 45 viewers. This is a rerun. <laughs> Eight of the viewers are re He's playing Hearthstone. <laughs> He's playing Monster Hunter! <laughs> the rerun's playing Overwatch! <laughs> oh my goodness, absolute yikes. No love for the game and I don't like I don't even know why people are labeling that they're playing it when they aren't playing it. I don't like do you feel bad for this fall of Anthem? I mean, it it I feel a certain way about it. I mean, it was developed in Canada after all. Yeah, but I oh, yeah. You know how it feels about it? I mean, I, Not really. I I felt like it was going a certain way because of course you and I both know Sam Meggs and mm -hmm. she was a writer on it yeah. and then like the the project didn't finish and she left to go uh, somewhere else and yeah. I always feel like whenever somebody's a part of a team and like an integral part of a team uh, 
that writing is when, pretty important. Yeah, I and writing very yeah. important. And I feel like she's a smart lady, and she maybe saw it going a certain way. Like this is all just speculation, of course. But like whenever yeah. I see, I haven't uh, talked to Sam about it. Directly. No, neither have I. But to see a team member leave any yeah. kind of project, I mean, I saw the same thing happen with. Uh, you know, uh, Crackdown 3 and some people that were on that team as well, they left before it came out because they were concerned about the way it was going. Right. And they just, you know when like you have a strong voice and it's not being heard and like that you're voicing mm. your concerns and nothing happens? Like that's frustrating for somebody on a team. Yeah, and especially with all the, the hype surrounding this, why it ended up sinking so quickly. Yeah. But then again, it is like a single player game. It's not the kind of thing that you can do the like fun role play with yeah. like Grand Theft Auto. Is it perfect for streaming? I mean, I find that it's the multiplayer games where there's a lot of like replayability that tend to be dominant in yeah. the Twitch board. So I don't know if it's doing okay in sales. You can't yeah. always use Twitch as a you it's know not. barometer for the success of it a ain't. game, but it's not doing well there. It ain't. So all. why don't you play some Sea of Thieves this weekend? Mark it as Anthem. And yeah, just and then I'll be the top get. of the boards yeah, yeah. on the Anthem category. <laughs> exactly. On all right. Now it truly is the best time of day where we scroll through the Twitters to bring you all the things the Fros bless us with on their timeline. Remember how all that sugar and spice and everything nice I was feeding to you yesterday just kind of blessed you? Well, it baked itself onto our Twitter timeline yesterday with almost every community providing selfies using that Snapchat filter that is doing it for all the boys, I must say. So it was Rich Campbell who summarized quite Ooh. nicely with this tweet. He says, Freaky Friday. <laughs> Six, Call of Duty. These are all Call of Duty personalities. Right. That's Zuma looking like a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> Methods to his right. Maven, bottom left. And look at the prettiest one of all. Silly. I don't know if you noticed that, but Silly does not have the filter on. He's just notice. that pretty. Yeah. He's just that pretty. So, AJ, how do you feel about these transformations? And do you think we could get one from you? Uh, I mean, we did take one in the office. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if we can bring them up now or if we can oh. drop them in the Twitch chat as links or something. Yeah, Just yeah. check my Instagram story. Oh, wait, and from the story, too. Yeah. So how would you rate uh, your looks <laughs> as a woman? Uh, well, with the filter, not super great. But honestly, oh. if you go back in my timeline enough, I did a project with a makeup artist some years ago oh. using just makeup and, and no filters. And uh, you... I'm a convincing lady, Marissa. Hmm. I don't got the beard going on. OK, well, did, yeah. did, OK. I mean, like, out. listen, I, I'm here for it. We, there's also another version of it for the ladies to use, and it turns us into yep. men. Uh, you can definitely f find our transformations, Lisa and I. <laughs> Lisa and I uh, made them early today. Um, I feel like it's, I'm I'm a handsome man, and Lisa, no, yeah, she's it's she's like a the handsome same man as well. generic man face though for all the ladies who use it, and it gets a little bit disturbing. It's just oh, like it's, it's too hard to look at. I, there's a variety of men's faces. I feel like there's a variety of women's faces within the filter. Yeah, but in reality, there's a variety of men's faces. Oh. They should mix it up a little bit. For things. No. It's, it's getting a little bit scary. Yeah, All right. you're right. Our next profound thought comes from 100 Thieves head of esports operations Mudog, about to take the boys out to a ball game, it seems. He says, Ian's wearing his own jersey to a baseball game. <laughs> from left to right, that's a United's coach uh, Facento with an Abel in his own jersey and a Tatch appropriately dressed for the Dodgers game right there. That's pretty yeah. cool. Would you wear your own jersey uh, to a... You go uh, to so many sports games. If you I had do. your own, would you wear it or do you always oh wear the God. jersey of no, the local that is team? No, full on blasphemy. That, that's straight up full of yourself. Wear my own jersey with my own name of it. Well, not even the game. It's not even the type of game. Like, he plays video games. He's going yeah. to a sports event with his jersey. But I mean, I, maybe if he wants to be... the respect for, uh, I, for eSports. No, How for do you generate sure. that without wearing your jersey around? Being like, yeah, this is what I play, guys. This is the real game here. Yeah, but you're going to an event as a fan to be a fan of that <clears> sport. And and we have to call it Facento there, too, who is wearing a Braves jersey. He That wasn't even a Braves... The Dodgers weren't even playing the Braves last night, okay? Like, well, that's the thing. Like, I was to point out, like, I'm not... Sorry, but I don't really care about the Maple Leafs or the Blue Jays anymore, or like any professional sports teams in the sports realm these days. So okay. if like, I, sometimes I get these free tickets to go watch these things, and I'm like, oh, do I wear, like I could just wear, a, oh. AJ, friggin' fry. <laughs> First of all, you don't support the teams in our city. Okay, I can actually let that one slide because that's okay, sometimes people don't like sports in general. But you're telling me right now that you get free tickets to some of these events? You have not once DM'd me saying you have tickets. Would you like to go? Not not one time have you done that. You can't e you cannot even object and say that you have. Are you telling me you've had Leafs tickets and you haven't told me about them? I like, you know, my old gig, they, I would get like 
seats, and it's like, if you want to go to these things, it's important if you did, sort of thing. Uh huh. It was, uh -huh. It was not like I had free tickets to give away. It was like, uh huh. I should go and be a face at the uh -huh. thing. Different uh -huh. circumstance. I'm sorry. So I could I'm have sorry. entertained you. You could have taken me as a guest. Not any of them. I, I couldn't bring anyone. It was like I had to go on my own. Killer, this is this moving is like, on. This save is not, me from yeah, this. Yeah, this is not okay. Our last profound thought is from Smash God and YouTube King Green after real life is real life into a pickle. He said, I ate many cookies because it tasted good. Now my stomach hurts. I do this repeatedly when I'm hungry. I grab the best tasting food even though I know I should not. Why am I consistently stupid? <laughs> that just, was the feels you do. <laughs> that's just all of us, right? I, that's right. So now I need to know, AJ, what is your favorite binge item? And I also want the chat to do the same. So let us know what you will just binge and just skip dinner for. Uh, I don't know, man. Ice cream's pretty big. You know, pocky gonna... as well. Oh, you like pocky. Yeah, I'll eat a lot of pocky. Things like pocky's got... kind of expensive. So I can't really just binge on that and then like that be my meal. It also doesn't fill at all. That's the thing, though it, it does if you just keep going. It's convincing, it, it's because it's so small, like a one pocky stick. You're like, oh yeah, I'll just have a little. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, I was just, that was hardly anything. I'll just have another one. <laughs> and then like four hours later, you're still. Okay, four hours little... later, a kid bougie buying all these pockies. Are you kidding me? They're, they're like $6 a box. Well, if you get the like bulk quantities, if you go to the right stores. This guy's bougie. He's got I can't take to you games. to Leafs games anymore, yeah. but I can take you to the right places to get some good pocket. Oh, I see how it is. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, my vote, by the way, goes to Oreos, if anyone ah, is asking. It's Oreos all the way. The, the thin Oreos ones. The other thin day. Ones. Yeah, the thin pistachio Ooh, Oreos. Nice. Magnifique. All right, let's move on because it's time to get to some crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great or simply dank things the community has been making. Mm. Let's talk about porn. Oh. <clears throat> Hitbox porn, I should say, of course. Uh, Reddit user OJ54 posted this clip proving that it's always important to wear protective headgear. Hmm. Okay. Throws a Molotov, incoming grenade, bounces off his head and over the rock. I don't know if you saw it. Let's watch okay. the slow mo. Throws the Molly. Oh. oh. Incoming grenade. Whoa. Where'd the grenade? Grenade. Oh, Bing! here we go. Off the head, <laughs> over the rock. <laughs> Well, and I then mean, it goes off. Whoever tossed the grenade. Yeah. Like whoever tossed the grenade, that was an amazing toss. Yeah, it was amazing. perfect. Couldn't have been more perfect. <laughs> but it could have been more perfect for the fact that the game mechanics. <laughs> doink. Yeah, just a just a little shorter. Just a little shorter. If that had been an arc star in Apex Legends, that would have been an amazing play what's from the that, other perspective. What's that one from but, Halo though? The sticky grenade? Yeah, sticky uh, grenade, arc stars, they stick to you. Anything that like, but a grenade just boing. <laughs> and the fact that there was a rock there too, because if that rock had not been there and that right. grenade still landed that close in front of him, that would have been devastating. But because Over. of the cover, amazing play. Yeah, now I want to know what placement that guy made yeah. in PUBG. That's, oh, I want to uh, see more of these grenade. Uh, Love. Headers. Okay, with video games and esports growing bigger and bigger, we're seeing more and more companies and people try to enter the scene to be, well, cool. Not to be left out, this is what Airline Delta did. It reads, union dues cost around 700 a year. A new video game system with the latest hits sounds like fun. Put, my, put your money toward that instead of paying dues to the union. Yeah, this isn't them trying to be cool from a marketing perspective. This is them trying to be underhanded and crappy to their employees, trying to convince them not to join the union. And Holy smokes, how little do you have to think of someone? How little do you have to think of your employees to be like, well, I mean... Instead of joining the union, why don't you get yourself a PlayStation or yeah. an Xbox or something? You, you, you don't need to worry about work. You worry about yeah. video games. Forget that about is... people looking after you after our crazy hours of work and treatment reduce you to uh, needing medical assistance that oh you can gosh. afford without your union. Yeah, if you dive a little deeper into this, honestly, there's like a whole campaign. There's a whole campaign against unionization, which I guess like big companies, any kind of yeah. corporation like this does because the, any like workers forming a union is hurtful or harmful to a corporation, right? Because well, they have to uh, adhere to a certain amount of hours, a certain amount of money. They don't want to... It's not actually harmful in the long run when you provide you know health and standards yes. to your employees you get better employees right. as a result uh, no, no, unions can want, be very helpful it's just in the short employees. term yeah they they're... want to play video games and not worry about work exactly yeah that is kind of counterproductive right, right? Like, this is just the weirdest thing delta airlines once again Losing my interest. Mm. To wrap up crowd control, we got something great for you. Thanks to a cleric on YouTube, you can now take a neat little shortcut in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh. 
So that is just one of many of these awesome shortcuts that Cleric has posted on the YouTube channel. There are so many of them. Do you have little oh. hacks or shortcuts you use, Marissa? No, oh my god. Or do you just cheat because that's what you're all about? Okay, you know what? Like, give me a break. If you're, okay, if you're talking like reading a guidebook, guidebook, I sound old, or reading, going on the internet, going on the internet, and searching for guides, then yeah, okay, you, sometimes I cheat. Whatever, man, don't at me. But uh, no, I don't, I'm not good at finding these things in game. I'm, I move like molasses anyway. Like, right. I still haven't finished Breath of the Wild. I've only. Neither have I. But yeah. it's not by, like, <clears throat> I could. I could go right now if I can. No problem. Totally ready. Yeah, okay. It's more like I just want to go and finish all of the shrines and find all. The Koroks. There's so much to see and do. Don't I don't want it to be it, over. Exactly. You don't want it to end. It's just one yeah. of those beauty gem games. Listen, exactly. if you have Zelda Breath of the Wild, you should just play it this weekend. And don't forget to give your mummies hugs and kisses mm -hmm. because it's just their weekend, okay? Don't forget to get the flowers, people, or maybe bake her something nice. That's all from you today. Remember, you can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. Someone type in exclamation mark socials in the chat right now for all of our channels. Until then, we'll see you Monday. Bye. <laughs>